Hi, my name is Patrick. Uh, been training students for CAT for more than 20 years. Scored 100 percentile in CAT six times, so fairly comfortable with the exam. So this specific video should tell you how to prepare for CAT cons in the last two months. So two months of CAT, what do you exactly need to do in order to ace the CAT exam? So if you look at a CAT 22 exam, I mean 22 questions, uh, around eight to nine questions on arithmetic, seven to eight questions on algebra. 3 to 4 questions on geometry, 1 to 2 on modern max and 1 question on number system. That was a breakup in terms of CAT 22 paper. So off late there has been more weightage for arithmetic as compared to number systems etc. So that's where your focus should be. Anyway, coming to your prep. So the three ways to prepare. One is writing a mock section test. Okay. Second is revision. I mean some concepts that you're not clear with or you need to practice on some particular topic. So practice those areas. And third is mixed question practice. So instead of topic finding um, solving particular topic, mix your questions and practice, like from the mocks, section test, or pick up questions from there and practice. So when you're talking of mocks, I would normally recommend to solve two to three mocks a week. Normally, two mocks a week is sufficient at this stage. But if you want to increase it to three, if you're comfortable, you can do that. If you feel you're scoring less marks, you can maybe solve only one mock a week, that is fine because preparation becomes more important. Now, key in any exam is to able to identify easy questions and solve it quickly and leave out the difficulty. Now, when you solve a mock, it will help you to build the right strategy, right strategy to pick up the easy questions. Okay. And identify areas that you need to improve. That's the idea of mock. I mean, you solve a mock, analyze a mock, find out what strategy works for you by experimenting the mocks. And then when you write the mock, find out which areas you need to improve on and how do you practice. Okay, that's where you need to go about writing the mocks. But mocks is not really, you know, will help you improve your scores. So more the mocks you write, it doesn't mean your scores will definitely improve. The scores will improve with practice, with getting better methods, and that's what your focus should be. Next way to prepare is focusing on a particular concept or topic wise practice. Now, while writing mocks, you will definitely identify areas to practice. Now, if you're scoring 99 plus in the con section, then focus on your weak areas to practice. But if your focus is to clear the cutoffs, I mean, I want to just clear the cutoffs, I'm weak in maths, I don't want, then focus on your strong areas so that you can get them right and clear the cutoffs. So what you'll prepare for will depend upon where you stand and what your goals are. Now, for practicing, you can pick up notes and questions from any of the notes that is available to you. There are videos, there are notes available, do that. I would recommend around half an hour to one and a half hours per day on a particular topic or concept revision. That normally helps. Next is mixed question practice. Now, idea is uh, in the actual exam, the questions are mixed. You look at one topic first, the next question will be from other topic. You should be able to move from one topic to the second topic. Here again, the key is to identify easy and tough questions. So my normal recommendation is before solving any question, spend 10 to 15 seconds just reading the question and to identify whether the question is easy or tough. I mean, that will help you in your examination as well to identify easy or tough questions. The idea also solving mixed question is you should be able to move from moving one topic to another topic. Because if you solve all the questions from one topic, you know, for example, time speed distance, you know this question is from time speed distance, you will tend to use the formula of time speed distance to solve the sum. But mixed topic will help you to move from one area to the second area. Recommended to solve one to two hours per day on this particular mixed question practice. Next, try to get good methods. I mean, if you really want to improve your scores, good methods are important. So then try to find better methods. What when you get good methods, write it in a book and try to use them in different type of subs. I mean, we normally have a usual YouTube channel called Patrick 100, where I normally have this Patrick partial and Road 200, which normally will give you good methods to solve. So go through those methods and try to apply in different sums. And that should help you to improve. Notes, okay. Make notes normally. I mean, as and when you prepare, it's good to make notes. The one important note that you create is for good methods. So as and when you come across good methods, do write the good methods. Then important formulas. Formulas are important. Don't write all the formulas, which are obvious, you should ignore that. But yes, write all the formulas which you feel are important. So you can go to it and revise it again. And also write any mistakes that you come in. So normally people do a mistake while reading the sum or you do a mistake because you don't know the concept. So whenever you solve sums or mocks, whenever you come across mistakes, do write in a book. So you're aware of the mistakes and you can accordingly take corrective action to improve on those. Right? So hope this will help you understand how to go about improving with regards to your con section of the CAT.
right? Only best. 